internet friends welcome back to my channel plenty princess my name is Ashley before we get started I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel I hit 1,000 subscribers hence the shirt plenty princess belief in yourself 1k also this is the second shirt for the pink princess philodendron giveaway so make sure you comment on this shirt like this video subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for another valid entry into that giveaway. I will post a picture right here of what that plant is currently looking like, only because I forgot to grab it and bring it over here, but I want you guys to be able to kind of see it grow until December as this giveaway continues. So without any further ado, we'll get right into the video. I have another super exciting unboxing. It is a extremely rare Hoya haul. Well, at least a couple of them are. Um, and then I have a couple in here that I never heard of, but I saw from the same seller on eBay and really loved. This is from the Czech Republic. I did do an unboxing. Um, this is where I got the same person that I got the Polynera Broguette. And actually, I got another Polynera Broguette because that one was the Broguette Silver. I didn't realize that they were two different plants. And I actually wanted like the plain broguette with the green and the silver in it. Um, and I thought that that was it because it was labeled the broguette, but then I realized it also was labeled the broguette silver. So anyways, now I have them both. So we'll get right into this unboxing. I really had a great experience from this seller previously. So I'm excited to go ahead and unbox another order from them. So this is cute. Their plant passport. Uh, I'm not sure if I saw that last time. Maybe I did and I just didn't open it. I don't know. But again, we have a bunch of cotton in here. <laughs> and then it's packed like this. <laughs> With candy. That is so weird. <laughs> But anyways, all right, so I have five Hoyas in here. One, one was like on my wish list, uh, plant wish list that I made in the beginning of this year. But I have a few in here. I have actually three in here that I really wanted and then the other two that I really thought were pretty that were from the same seller. So I figured while I was ordering, I might as well just go ahead and grab those. So we'll go ahead and open this one first. I really like how these are packaged. So this is the Hoya SPMPR. What I liked about this was like the venations and how pretty the plant looked. It actually almost looks like a larger version of a fitchy eye. Um, but it is a stunning Hoya. It is a really pretty plant. The leaves aren't too thick but they aren't like papery thin either. They kind of are. They're thin, but with like a thickness to them. So I'm excited. I'm hoping this one can get a little sun stress. I really didn't find too much out on this plant when I was looking it up when I first came across it, but we'll experiment and we will see. It's gorgeous either way. Next, this is one that I saw that I really, really wanted. This is the Hoya de Veo, Philippines. I really loved, again, the venations and the speckling on this one. I thought it was really gorgeous. It is just such a pretty Hoya. This one has three leaves. It's looking super healthy. I love that. I love it. I love the speckles with the light venations. It's just one of my favorite aspects of a Hoya. All right, so next we'll go to this one. This is another one that is, I wouldn't, it's not rare in the sense that it's like super expensive or anything, but it's its very sought after at the moment. So this is the Hoya Carnosa Stardust. I really love this. I love the speckling again that goes through it it's almost like a matte silver and I love that you know these 
Older leaves get darker. As you can tell the difference, this is an older leaf. This one's a newer leaf, and you can definitely see how the newer leaf is a little lighter. But I love how dark green the leaves get, and then also you can definitely see some venations run through them when the light hits them the right way. Maybe hard to see on camera, but this one is definitely just a really pretty gorgeous Hoya, and I love it. So three down, we have two to go. Because you know I got the Brogat, I'll open that one first, and I'll save my official wish list plant for last. So this is an actual Hoya Polyneura Brogat. It is so gorgeous. Let me. Get this out of here so you can kind of see the leaves a little better because it's kind of in there deep, a little bit deeper. So as you can see, the contrast of the green and the silver kind of like speckling all over the leaves. That is a true brogat. These leaves are huge actually compared to like my other fishtail. Um, even the the fishtail splash and the fishtail broguette silver that I have, these leaves are humongous. I am loving it. And again, I really love the splash or the variegation, I guess, that this one has. It's just super gorgeous. Last but not least, we have the official wish list plant. This plant does get quite expensive. Now, I only have one leaf, unfortunately, but I am very grateful for this one leaf. A little sneak peek if you can guess what it is. Um, I paid $200 for this. I will put the prices of the rest of them on the screen with their names somewhere, just in case you're interested in how much these Hoyos go for. Um, but anyways, this is the Hoya Ganung Gading. I am so excited to have this. I've been in search of this plant forever, but when you get especially more than one leaf, they just get so expensive. I'm, I'm talking like $500 expensive. Um, you know, I, I've spent that on plants before. Right now, that just wasn't in my budget. Um, I love that prominent kind of vintage venation going up the back side of the leaf there. Really pretty. Um, but anyways, I really wanted this. I love the way it sun stresses. I love the colors that it can get. I love how dark the venations really get when it starts to get that sunlight into it. So this was just one that I've been looking for for a while. But again, I just haven't come across one when I was able to spend that type of money on it. So that these are the five plants that I got. I am very happy. They all came through very healthy. Like I said, this is the second time that I've ordered from this eBay seller and I've had now two great experiences with them. I don't want to disturb them and take them out of the pot. Uh, you can tell, especially like in this one here at the top, you can see some roots going along in there. I don't know if you can see them, but I can. So they definitely are somewhat rooted starting to root um i believe they said that in the description as well either way they're healthy i'm happy i'm going to keep these in my ikea cabinet with lots of humidity lots of artificial light and i will probably eventually transplant them to pond or lucka we will see right now they're all in soil again thank you so much for anybody who has subscribed and helped me reach this 1k marker i am so excited that my channel is continuing to grow and flourish and i really couldn't be happier to share it with you guys don't forget to leave a comment on this shirt down in the description for your chance to win that pink princess philodendron again that giveaway is going to go until december if you want more details on that giveaway I will link the video to it at the top so you can click it and check out the official rules and all that good stuff on the giveaway. Thank you for joining me in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye!